Hi everyone, I'm Reading with Jack and today I'm here to discuss my booktube history and I'm really really excited to talk about this because I love talking about booktube, it's so much fun and I'm very proud of booktube so it's going to be fantastic. I'll be talking about how I discovered booktube and what my first few videos were like and then going to discuss how I've developed as a booktuber and kind of a few of the videos which I feel quite proud about doing and then finally a few of the kind of plans and resolutions that I want to make for my booktube channel. So let's get going and let's start at the very beginning and talk about how I started. I discovered booktube in March 2011 thanks to my friend George from British Bibliolic. At the time her channel was Book Addict 2011. She discovered this place online which almost sounded like a kind of paradise heaven kind of place because it just looked fantastic. The fact that people were all in one place talking about books and sharing their passions, that sounded like the kind of thing I wanted to get involved in. However, I was a little bit hesitant at first because I wasn't the kind of person that would normally put myself out out there but I did decide in April to actually film a video and it was an introduction video. I probably filmed that video about 10 times because I was really unsure about what it was like. I wasn't very happy with it. The quality was really terrible because it was a built-in webcam on my laptop. The sound was horrible and there was no editing either so it was very rambly. I always remember in that video I kept asking is anyone watching? If you're watching please comment because I don't even know if you're watching. I think the reason why I was a bit hesitant about posting that video was because I was really unsure what people would think of me. I was unsure if I would have a lot of mean comments, if I would get dislikes. I was just a little bit hesitant and actually I shouldn't have been because everyone was so so nice. Everyone was so supportive and encouraged me to continue and I really am happy that I met a few people in the first few months of booktube because they really kept me going. They kind of kept me making videos and improving every single time I made one. For the first few months I talked a lot about the Warriors series by Erin Hunter. I did a lot of book reviews because I was still reading those books. I wanted to rave about them and promote them and I think a few people read them because of my recommendation. I'm not sure how many but a few people definitely did and it was just really nice to develop a small community of people on my channel where we were all discussing books and sharing our opinions in the comments. August 2011 was a really big thing for me and something that really affected my videos. It was the time in which I discovered editing software and it's the editing software I still use today, Camtasia Studio and at first I was very terrible using it. I didn't know what to do, it was very jumpy, it didn't really flow well but very quickly I learned how to improve my editing and I think it really just enhanced my videos because for me I'm the kind of person that rambles a lot so I was able to get rid of a lot of that rambling. I continued to make a lot of videos for the next few months. I kind of made a lot of Christmas tags because it was getting towards winter time. I was filming a lot of discussions and topic videos. I feel like I was starting to really enjoy booktube at this point. I'd kind of gained the confidence to kind of speak in front of a camera the way to kind of present myself, I felt like I knew how to do it more. I just felt a lot more organised and better as a booktuber. 2012 was a very crazy booktubing year for me actually. It was so weird. The first thing that happened in the year was in February and that was a big disaster where I actually deleted the channel that I had created and I was so annoyed because Google Plus was really irritating me so I decided to delete my Google Plus account I didn't realise that was linked to my YouTube account and then everything was gone. I have no footage of my first few videos which is a shame. I kind of want to see how dreadful I was. I kind of want to see that improvement but unfortunately I have no footage. But immediately I decided I want to continue as a booktuber. I really enjoyed booktubing and it was just so much fun for me to express my opinions about books. So I created Reading with Jack and I am so happy that I actually created this channel. I'm actually quite happy that I deleted my other one because this was a fresh start for me. I remember throughout 2012 doing a lot of book reviews actually. It was probably the year where I did the most book reviews on my channel because I was reading so so much, particularly in the summer. June and July was crazy for reading. I wanted to talk about all of the books I was reading, particularly all of the YA books. A lot of them were YA books that people had already read so we could discuss things in the comments. I really loved that kind of interaction with people. I also made my first booktube tag which was the crazy book buying obsessions tag and that was fantastic. I am really happy about that tag because it kind of brought people together in a way. A lot of people took part I managed to meet a lot of new booktubers from that. They kind of discovered me as well and I felt like it was just a really fun thing to do. The fact that people were appreciating a tag that I'd created felt really nice. It felt quite rewarding. For the first few months of 2013 I was kind of all over the place. I was making videos but I wasn't very active and they weren't very good because I was so busy with school that I had to kind of dedicate my time to school instead of my videos. However I did make two videos which I still feel very proud about. The first one was my channel trailer Welcome to Reading with Jack where I basically animated a few book covers and showed them in 
videos and I had a few quotations as well about reading and why I love reading, why I enjoy booktubing and what books mean to me and I kind of animated that all along to Read All About It which is an amazing song which I love and I know it sounds kind of cheesy because Read All About It, you know, I'm a booktuber talking about books and I'm reading but I really am quite happy with the final product of that video. It got a really good reaction as well and a lot of people seem to really enjoy it. I'm probably going to make an updated version of that at some point because a lot of the books I showed aren't books that I necessarily talk about anymore but I really am happy that I made that video and a lot of people are still watching it today. I also made a bookcase tour which was showing my rainbow shelves. I had just created my rainbow shelves in February 2013 and I really enjoyed doing that because bookcase tours are always really fun and it got a really good response actually because a lot of people were talking about if rainbow shelves were the way forward. Is it all about style and the looks or is it about the organisation? How should we actually sort out our books on bookshelves and it was such an interesting thing to discuss in the comments. However, soon after that I was getting really busy with school, I was revising for my GCSE exams and everything was quite overwhelming to be honest and I didn't feel like I had the time to make videos anymore so I kind of left for a few months. I think it was probably about two and a half months, kind of April, May and a bit of June. I felt like that break was really useful for me because I could concentrate on my studies and then I returned in June 2013, in the second half of June I believe it was. I returned with a new camera, Nikon D3100, which I love. It's my amazing thing which I'm filming on right now. I absolutely find it fascinating and I loved using this new technology. I loved talking about this camera to everyone because I was so happy to have this amazing quality and I just really liked it and I'm, you know, I'm not saying that camera quality is everything but for me it was just a really nice thing that really enhanced my videos. In that summer I also did a two weeks of videos which was so so much fun. I did a video every single day for two weeks. At times that was a little bit stressful because I almost didn't get videos up on certain days because I had to edit them and the upload speed was terrible but it was just a really fun thing and I felt like within those two weeks my editing really improved. Perhaps because I was doing a lot of videos in such a short space of time it was kind of like an intense booktube improvement period where I just really kind of improved as a booktuber and I really enjoyed doing them. As part of the two weeks of videos I also did some videos in French and Spanish which were really fun, a little bit weird, I mean the French one was about how to make a cup of tea as if people wouldn't know how to do that already. But the Spanish one was probably more sensible. That was about how to learn languages and why we should learn languages, the importance of learning languages in today's society. Throughout the second half of 2013, I continued to make a lot of tags and reviews. I wasn't always incredibly active because I'd gone back to school. Kind of September, October time wasn't fantastic. But I remember definitely in December I made a lot of Christmas tags because Christmas is such a fun time on booktube, there's so much stuff going on. Now let's talk about 2014, what's been happening this year. Well the first thing that happened was I created a lot of booktubing resolutions in order to improve my channel and to improve the kind of books that I read to choose books in a better way. I decided to start making monthly themes and monthly book reviews and monthly book hauls and I did that for the first three months of the year, January, February and March worked really well and I loved doing the themes because it was so varied in terms of my reading. I was definitely discovering books that I wouldn't normally pick up. Like with 2013 I had to leave for a little bit to revise for my exams. I'm quite happy that I kind of left and focused on them because I feel like it's kind of weird. I love doing booktube but when I'm so so busy with school it starts to stress me out and I kind of worry about everything and I just kind of don't enjoy it as much because I'm so stressed with something else. But of course I returned in summer and I loved returning because I had so much more time to film book reviews and tags, wrap ups and to be read piles, I also started doing them and they were really really fun actually, they got a great response, I really loved the fact that in a wrap up I can talk about books that I've read and kind of do mini reviews to kind of summarise everything and then in to be read piles I can talk about the plans for the next month, talk about the kind of things you can expect from me. I also started using a different background, I started to move further away from my bookshelf. I don't really know how that worked but it was quite fun and it was kind of different. I just wanted to change things up a little bit. Over the past few months I've changed my background loads since. Sometimes I sit here where I am today, other times I sit on the floor near my bookshelf. I don't really know which background's best but I'm very undecisive so I have to change things around all of the time. This year I also started doing top five Wednesday videos which have been really fun. I haven't been able to do them every single week but I've really enjoyed them. It's definitely allowed me to talk about books that I wouldn't normally talk about, to highlight different book covers, different book titles, different characters that I've enjoyed. It's just a really good thing to do. I'm really happy that Ginger Reed Slaney created that Top 5 Wednesday meme or trend. I don't even know what they're called, but whatever it is, it's an amazing weekly thing. In terms of what's next for my booktube channel, I'm hoping to be more 
consistent in terms of my uploads and also more consistent in terms of the lighting. I don't always think it's very good. I'm not sure if anyone else feels that way, but my lighting is kind of all over the place. And also the camera angles and the camera background, I think I need a little bit of improvement with that. Please let me know which angle and background you prefer because obviously I do like to present my book channel in whatever way my subscribers want. So please let me know what you prefer. And if you have any tips and advice on how to kind of work with that kind of thing, please let me know as well. Also, I need to start making book review videos again. I haven't filmed a book review since July, I think, and that's terrible. So I kind of need to make more of them. Hopefully in 2015, I'll have lots of new books from Christmas that I'll be able to read and review. So I'm quite excited to do that again. But everyone, that is it for today's video about my booktube history. I hope it was slightly interesting, hopefully. I don't know. I feel like I was very rambly, but we'll have to see how it is after editing. Thank you for watching. Thank you for all of your support over the past few years, everyone. I've really, really appreciated it. I love this community online. I absolutely love booktubing and I never want to stop. So I will see you all again in my next video.